What is going on, everybody? <laughs> this is Wreckage here, and no, I am not dead. Um, I just had to take a very, a rather long break that I regret from uh, recording anything because I lacked the motivation after moving into my new room, and uh, you know, looking at my roommate's schedule and figuring out when he wouldn't be here so I could record some things. It's, you know, it is, it is what it is. So um, I really wanted to finish recording. Uh, the rest of the demonic pact videos because and get a load of this but if you see my YouTube channel you know that it's relatively small and all my videos range from anywhere around like six to zero views on average um but ever since I've started doing uh, magic and playing on untap it's been a huge huge increase and I am I am f like I am astounded at the amount of views that the Demonic Pact video number three, or I mean, my uh, Demonic Pact video, uh, the third game versus the Eldrazi, or whatever it was called, let me just, um, right, so game three versus Blue Black Eldrazi, oh my goodness, that video has 88 views on it, and you don't know how happy that makes me. It's it's utterly ridiculous at the amount of amazingness that you people or whoever's been watching my videos has given me and it it feels so good and I I want to keep making videos like this so that you guys can have a good time watching it too um I can give you ideas for decks and uh speaking about that um while I'm waiting for somebody to get into this game um I also really want to start doing um oh geez wait a minute where is where's this button here wait is my microphone muted well i don't know whether my microphone is muted or not i have no idea but uh i i want to start doing more standard because playing in standard for me is a lot more fun playing in modern because the amount of decks that people uh make are a lot it's just a larger range, and modern is way too competitive for my taste in decks. Standard is fun because I actually have a chance for that kind of thing. So, um, whether you like modern, whether you not like the, um, I'm gonna be trying to do more standard than modern, or maybe no modern at all. But I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. I mean, once again, I have to actually finish this first. Turn counter is yours. Um, whether or not that'll include people coming in that just start playing or I have no idea cavern of souls ah uh, that's not standard buddy uh are you in the right room bruh oh god <laughs> what what a way back I said standard homebrews wait I think he had the wrong deck or something. What is this? Why did he discard Flooded Strand? What is going on? Why, why is this? <coughs> why is this happening to me? Oh, I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit different. Oh, okay. We have a first turn Cinderglade here. All right, game's officially begun. I have two demonic packs in my hand. Just screw me. Um, we want to draw more lands, so let's just lead on Polluted Delta and pass. What are you doing, opponent? Oh, okay. So they flooded, stranded, and then islanded. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Why they would be that in discard and Cinderglade on the battlefield, I have no idea. Um, This might not be a good game because our opponent doesn't know or seem to know how to play magic. Uh, I don't know whether or not... Ooh, a Pitiless Horde, yes! Okay, good curve, everyone, good curve. We tried. We tried hard. Alright, Swamp, Tap, Discard, Find. Uh, pay Life, Find an Island. Untapped Island. Oh yeah, Fetches will be rotating out of Standard soon, so this deck is not going to be uh, legal come April 8th. Come on, tap the damn Swamp. I apologize for my language. 
Frostwalker, go! Frostwalker, I choose you. You're a 4-1 beat stick. Get in there. He's only got a 0-2. Fear the beat stick. Although, I'll, I would admit, this is an... This is a interesting choice of lands. I, I wouldn't expect that. All those weird lands. He didn't play a land yet, so that's odd. What is this? Death Misraptor. Uh, Nissa. Uh, what other green or blue three drops do we have? Oh, it's a morph? Is it a morph? I think it's a morph. Okay, definitely a morph. There wouldn't ever be any other reason that that would not be a morph. Okay, yep. He, our opponent has indeed said it is a morph. Okay, we haven't drawn a land yet. However, that should not be a problem. All we gotta do is go to attacks and swing four. Attack, Frostwalker. Be to the face. Attack. Destroy. Trade off if you have to. I don't care. Just get your body moving. He's thinking. He's thinking. Am a a Misha a Misha Cohen? A Mishai? A Michai? I don't know how to pronounce his username. But uh as you can see I have changed my logo to my channel's logo, so that is a fun little change indeed. I am no longer some sort of blobby monster avatar. And we're going to tap our lands in the second main phase and play the lovely Pitiless Horde that just loves to smash faces. Now, I don't know what this morph might be, but if he's running green-blue, it's maybe a Sagu Mauler, which was definitely underplayed in Standard. Or um, it could be an Ice Feather Raven, effectively bouncing our Pitiless Horde. And I, if, it, if it is, I mean, if we get another land, I think I want to go Slumgar Assassin into Frostwalker. Um, Green Blue just doesn't have a lot of good removal spells, so I'm really not counting on them, like, board wiping or anything. And we will start losing two life for the Pitiless Horde, but, I mean, it's a five-powered, three-toughness monstrosity. So, we should be able to get in with that fairly easily. Um, our opponent seems to be thinking rather a lot. I'm... Um, I'm actually thinking about editing a lot of the thinking phases so you, I can just jump right into the next move. And un unless I say something like incredibly important. Um, I mean, yeah, it's easier for me if I just leave everything in there and then just edit the beginning and the end. But, I mean, it's more fun for you guys if you see all the action. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. You could. Ooh, they just passed their turn? Ooh. Okay, let's commence the beats. Let's draw an untapped land. That's not an untapped land. But we will be able to, I think, play another Frostwalker once I go, okay, combat. I want to tap, tap, and then attack, attack, swing. Oh, they have a response. And if this was a, supposed to be like a, t what? Why is that tapping? That's not supposed to tap. It's untapping. Oh, God. He's adding mana to his mana pool. Is this a four-color? No, it's a teamer deck. Oh my god. Uh targets. Targets please. Which which mode is this? He's probably thinking. Um Rattle Claw fights frost. Okay, that kills that kills frost. His creature gets plus one plus one until the end of the turn. And these things are going to trade? Yeah, okay. They trade. Boop. And then I'm going to second main. Play a... Eh, let's play another Frostwalker. Just because more damage is good. And Death Touch really doesn't help us at this point. <laughs> Alright, so we got... Uh, we got traded two for one. Two for two. Actually, there was no card advantage swing on that, so we're good. Ooh, Kiora. Uh-oh. That's not good. Kiora is going to be a problem. Hmm. I mean, if we ever get to Salungar's command, we could just instantly kill it. Which might not be a bad idea. We can then... 
Uh, do some two for ones, minus two actually. Reveal the top four cards, put a creature or land card among them into the hand. So, they are supposed to reveal. Oh, okay, I see what they did. Oh my god, Savage Knuckle Blades. Here we go. Yeah. Alright, so now we have to face down a Savage Knuckle Blade, which is not good. We could kill that with anything, actually. I don't think it gets first strike, no. We could play our Death Toucher next turn to block. So I think... Ugh, Bonded Construct. Actually, that's not bad, because now we can play two things. So, combat... And swing at Kiora. <laughs> She's dead. And then we have to go one mana for Bond and Construct, which can block alone, so that's good. And then we have to... Man, it would be really nice to draw a land soon. And then play a Death Toucher to block the Savage Knuckle Blade. If we ever get to 4 mana, we will slam a Demonic Pact and start uh, draining our opponent. I mean, we might kill a Savage Knuckle Blade if he plays it. He can't actually give it haste yet. Oh, he can't play Savage Knuckle Blade. Uh, another Kiora, of course. Minus 2. <laughs> I, I was just realizing that our opponent has no red mana. Um, they'll probably try to get a red mana off of this Kiora unless they had to get a better creature. In which case, I will... Uh, Laugh. We're not laugh. Uh, oh my god, the the spice. Someone scrying actually is standard, so they're going to take Undergrowth Champion. What are they taking? They took Undergrowth Champion, didn't they? Yep. Alright. That's fine. Um, land. Ooh, okay, Polluted Delta, yes! Okay, got the Polluted Delta. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 power. We can put our opponent to 7. And then we can 2 Demonic Packs for the victory. I think that's what we're going to want to do. Um, want to tap this, search for a Swamp. And put that into play untapped. And then whatever they play next, we can Salumgar's Command, assuming we draw another land, or just slam another Demonic Pact. Um, okay, so Combat... Um, that, that, and that, all at our opponent, all at you, that's eight damage, they're down to seven, and unless they can start drawing or gaining life, I think our demonic packs are just going to burn them out, which is really funny, it's, it's like a blue-black burn spell, oh god, I've been, I had my uh, cursor in the chat, so I was wondering why my lands weren't tapping uh, with the hotkey, and... Here we go, Demonic Pact, boom. All right, your move. I'm gonna start burning you for four. And the best part about this is, is if we deal them four damage and they don't have a blocker, we just win. Or, no, they go down to three. So I mean, we still need to attack with everything and try to offer up a trade with, um, they can't play Savage Knuckle Blade. Um, they can make, they can make a lot of mana this turn. But unless they have some sort of bomb in their hand, I don't think they can win. Uh, that's not going to do it. It's two mana for Sylvan Scrying. They're going to get a trigger off of their retreat. Get a trigger off of the retreat. And... Okay, they made a fetch. Wooded foothills. Um, so they what are they gonna do? Scry or something? Tap frost? Okay. Oh wait, that kills it. Damn it! No. Alright. You got me with my hands tied behind my back, but I don't think it'll be enough. Demonic packs are one after another. And that'll kinda close out the game. Actually, what can the Salumgar's Command do? If we draw a land, we can return a blocker to their hand. Actually, we could return blocker and kill something. I think that would be the best. 
Um, okay, so untap. I'm going to add notes for DMG. For you. And draw our card. And oh my god, okay, it's a land. So we're going to. Oh god, what do we want to do here? Do we want to try and go for the kill? Um. They probably have a teamer. So. Hmm. Destroy target creature and destroy target planeswalker. I think we want to go for that. I mean, if they counter it, we're dead. You know what? No, let's just go with the safer plan. Or the safer plan. And play out a second Demonic Pact. I think this is the safer play. Because now we have a guaranteed death damage. Unless they can gain, gain life somehow. And I don't think, I don't think that they'll be able to uh, gain life at this point in the game. And even if they do... We have Slumgar's command. I really wanted our opponent to tap out that turn, but since they didn't, I didn't want to take the risk of just having it get countered and then we don't win next turn. Um, Demonic Pact has been an all-star, like, every time we've drawn it. It's just such a good card. And I definitely uh, hope to obtain four of Demonic Pact um, in card, or I mean uh, in real life, because then I could make a Demonic Pack deck, and just like this one, actually. I like I like the Demonic Pack being, like, the finisher of the deck, because it just, you know, we can repeatedly deal four damage, gain some life that we've lost. It looks like our opponent might take some land. Nope, just takes the creature. I'm not sure how that's going to help them if I could just burn them out. And even if I don't, if they tap out, I'm still going to swing and Salumgar's command next turn. So I think we have this game pretty much locked up. And it appears... What are they going to do? GG. Nice. Game two. Nope. Okay. We didn't get a game two, but hey, what more can we ask for? Uh, Quick check. Okay, that... Uh, I was running recording for about 20 minutes, but, um, you know, uh, give me a second. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna end the game there. If people don't want to go to game two, I guess that's fine. Um, you can see what it is. I mean, it's still another video. It's still another game. So, I guess, I guess that's good enough now that I was just, you know, rethinking about it. So, I'm gonna leave this video here, and, um, I'll put a, you know, put a new link in my channel, so... This, that'll be fine. Um, thank you all for watching, and I will be seeing you soon in the next Demonic Pack video. Bye.